Hey guys, what's going on? Do not change the channel. You are here. You made it. You selected this video, hit play, and it happened for a reason. I believe in destiny, and destiny brought you here. Destiny also said that what you'll want to do is hit subscribe to my channel because I'm pushing to that 100 mark. I really want to get that, guys. Yeah, it, and in the future, you could look back and we could all look together and say, damn, he's way over that. But uh, at this point in time, we're not. This is Scott with Casey Blade Drip. How you doing? Man, it's nice today. It's about 65. It's a Saturday. Clean, cool, calm, collected. May 7th of 2022. Greetings and salutations. I had to get an unboxing in, guys. It's been a while. Um, I wanted to kind of... I'll tell you. I. It's kind of been a little bit of a rough day for me. About a month ago, I woke up. I couldn't see out of my right eye. I was kind of jacked up, blurry, double vision. I'm a warrior, man. I... Uh, Went to the doctor, they referred me to an optometrist, went there, basically, long story short, they told me that I had some type of a genetic issue or something uh, with dry eyes. And my dry eyes, I guess over the years, kind of had formed or caused me to have some little bumps, tiny bumps on one of my eyes or both of them. And so it was just, it was causing issues with my vision. So yesterday, I went in the afternoon and basically got my eye smoothed out, is what they called it, where I had the uh, doctor basically take a tiny scalpel and just scrape my eyeball to make it smooth. And anyways, here we are. I just, I couldn't really relax. I took my meds and did all those things you got to do that they tell you being a good boy and I kept thinking of knives and things I wanted to do. Man, it's an addiction. It's addiction, guys. Got to get my, got to feed it. So I'm going to get through this thing. I'm having fun. Even though it's beautiful and I'm a little bit kind of laid up, I'm going to do a video. We're going to unbox a knife. We're going to do this together. You know, 150% here, guys. 100% of the time, I'm over... 50% right. That's damn good for you guys that like stats. We're going to sprint to excellence. You start out doing anything at a walking pace. We walk, we jog, now we're sprinting. God dang it, man. That feels good, doesn't it? Yep. Every knife has a story. We're going to start our story with this one right here in this package. I've got six packages. I pulled one of them here. We're going to get into it. One of my older packages I had to open. I've still got so many other things I've got to talk about and film, but we're here today, guys. So here we go. Let's start this story. Again, I do have a Instagram, and thank you for all the support, guys. I was watching Scotch and Things this morning. He had an unboxing. Man, what a beautiful flipping knife. I think that's something that kind of inspired me was watching him unbox that and the joy he got. But uh, Instagram, again, I'm all over the place, right? Casey Blade Drip, uh, amateur photography. Everything I do is uh, amateur, but I'm getting better, right? Currently walking, getting ready to sprint on my knowledge. All right. Also, Allegiance. Allegiance Flag Supply, made in the United States. If you need a flag for your house or any type of an American United States flag, man, these things are on a swivel. They don't get tied and wrapped up around the pole on your house. I bought one of these. It was the best damn decision I ever did. I fly my flag out front of my house every day. And this is a awesome, awesome company. Guys, Give look them up if you're interested in a flag or something of that nature. Um, all right, here we go. Sorry it's taking so long, but I had a lot of stuff on my mind, as always. Okay. 
Okay. Hope your Saturday is going well. But da da. Okay. Kershaw. All right. Now I know which one this is, but I didn't prior to opening the box. Now, just a little bit about Kershaw. I do like Kershaw. They've just got a couple of designs, things that maybe I'm not, you know, they're not quite for me, but I am really into a lot of their knives. I think they come in at a good price point. And uh, I like this company. I really do. They tend to, the thing I've found is that every so often they'll have a certain knife and it'll be like really discounted. I see it on Instagram and you can get it for like, 50% off or a really discounted price. So this is one that I saw. It was like my second or third knife I'd gotten from Kershaw where I saw a big discount. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get these. I'm going to check them out, review them, look at them, put them in my hand and let you guys watch me. And we'll talk about it together. This is going to be a team sport today because we're a team, guys. No one's left behind. Um, dang, I don't get to use my knife on this box, but here we go. If you guys need a shout out, if you want to shout me out, if you want to do that, I can definitely be up for that. Just let me know in the comments. You guys are good about that. I love the comments. All right, here we go. Um, this is brass. I can tell you right now. Oh, man, I love the... I love the look of this. It's got some weight to it. That's right. Knives save lives. Uh, let's see. Good action. It's a little bit stiff. Just a little bit. Good lockup. No wiggle at all. Got a little bit of the branding here, Kershaw. Nice looking pivot. Okay, this is a, uh, it's a frame lock. Good lock up the center or the, uh, the centering is nice. Right here in the middle, right in the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. So it looks like, Yeah, it looks like this could be a left or right hand carry to me, as far as the clip goes. I mean, if we kind of look at the top of it here, you can see that on each side, it looks the same. And I'm sure you could just flip that over. Now, again, guys, I'm going over this with no, I mean, I wasn't obviously prepared with notes or anything. We're just kind of exploring this together. We're pulling a good Jacques Cousteau here. Jacques Cousteau, I Calypso, the places you've been to. That was John Denver. Okay. So, yes, the, uh, the clip looks like it is for uh, left or right. I like this clip. I like it. You know, again, it's not too thin. It's got a little design. It's got the lip right here, which I like because your pant uh, will slide under here. It looks like it would be fine with no extra, you know, it wouldn't ruin or, or tear up your pants pocket. So that looks looks fine with me. And you've got the, uh, the Kershaw on the deep carry uh, pocket clip. That's good. That's ex I like that. I could do a deep carry or I can even... 
not deep carry. I, it doesn't matter with me, really, to be honest with you, too much. Um, I just go by aesthetically and what I don't, we all have our own opinions, but I like this. Uh, it does have the lanyard hole, so if you choose to put a lanyard in here, it looks like it's a decent size, too. Got a backspacer here. Not sure on the uh, the material. I think this is brass, obviously, but then this is steel. I don't believe it's titanium. I could be wrong again. I could be. The handle looks nice. Let me flip it out a couple more times so we can take a look at the blade again. I like the blade shape. It's almost like a a bit of like a saber in a way, the way it sweeps up and up sweep. And then we've got, this is a uh, Sienkiewicz design. And you got your numbers on here. I, and I'm looking, it's D2. Steel, I'm using a pair of glasses here. D2 steel. It's about all I can, can read on this right now. But I like the, uh, the blade design. It's like a drop point style here. Swedge on the top. It's a nice kind of thin profile on the blade. I'm sure it's very good for slicing. Looks like it's a some type of a stone wash finish to me. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna cut paper and those uh, mundane tasks because I can tell by touching it with my finger how damn sharp it is and it is sharp. So that's good. Uh, what uh, it's D2, so I'm sure the treatment on this blade and everything, that this is going to be a good, long-lasting, I mean, it's going to hold an edge well. I like D2, actually. I really like it. So I like the blade geometry. Let's do, while we're looking at it, guys and gals, let's go ahead and measure it. So we'd be looking at like three and a half inches on the cutting, the blade edge. So it's right about at three and a half. I'm, I mean, four if you're measuring from your taint all the way to the tip. But uh, handle four and a quarter ish. Yep. So. A good size for me, at least. I would. This is right in that wheelhouse of an everyday carry for me. I'm curious to see what it weighs. Let's check this thing out on the weight. Okay. Five point two. All right, not bad. Again, I like that weight. I'm anywhere typically between a 3.5 to about a 5.5 or 6. Anywhere within there, I'm good. I like being able to have a little heft where you can feel it. But this is actually a really well-balanced, well-thought-out design and knife. So it is a flipper. We have the flipper here. You've got some jimping, non-aggressive, but enough to where you can feel the jimping up here on the top. Okay, you don't have any other thumb studs or any other real opening options. Nice, smooth. Let's.
Okay, good detent. It's good. Actually, I can tell this is going to be buttery smooth. I can tell by when it's closing how nice and smooth it is, the action is. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Got the jimping underneath. See the lock bar. Anything on the inside here that we can see? Nope. Looks like it's a solid, solid scales to me. And then you've got your steel for your your lock bar here. So you got a little finger choil area here. The design is well thought out. I love the milling on the actual scales, this design right here along, and the way that this contours. I like the look of that. Up on the top of it, the top of the knife, nice thin profile here. I guarantee you this thing, I probably already said it, but guarantee it's a great slicer. And this is, falls into the category of stuff that I like the look of and uh, with the tasks that I need to have performed, slicing and cutting different type things. You can poke in, stab, and cut. So whether it's cardboard or other materials, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you've got good. This is good. I wish that your, your finger down here would be able to go up a little further because when I, with my thumb on the top of the, the blade here, I kind of want to have my finger slide underneath just a little further, but so it feels like I'm kind of stretching it a little bit, but it's comfortable. It's not bad. I just, it just feels if you put your thumb up this far a little bit, like it's not meant to be kind of ergo, er, ergonomically, um, uh, not quite the way it's meant to be or something, but it, it's fine. You've got, uh, this isn't, like I said, too aggressive. It's not going to, doesn't pinch. There's no areas on the blade or knife that are going to be uncomfortable. Here we go. You guys see the handle. I kind of gave you how many inches. Now we got the finger test. We wrap this in. We put our fingers around. So as you can see, I mean, I've got a large glove that I wear or hand. So these are, they're a little bit, but that's the size of the handle. But I don't feel like, and my pinky does stay on the handle. You're locked in pretty securely. I don't feel like if it's wet that you're going to have any problem because this milling on the actual handle and the way that it forms, you're able to lock in pretty good. So I feel like I have a good purchase on this knife. I don't, I got this knife, I think for 40 or 50 bucks, I believe is what I paid for it. It wasn't, like I said, I got uh, some type of a promotion or a discount on it. But yeah, the, this gives it texture and feeling in your hand. You see how the thought process on the different, the handle here on the blade and then the contouring going into the handle. So, I mean, this actually has some dang work that went into it on the design. I love the black. This had got jimping on the top of your backspacer here. So when you put your hand around it, that, that helps to lock it in. Got jimping back here. Let's see if we can reverse grip it. Now, I can reverse it, but your thumb, or my thumb, tends, tends to go kind of on the top of this. But the jimping does go against your hand. Okay? So with this motion... I can put my thumb on top. It's not uncomfortable, so this does work. And for the size of the handle and the blade itself, this is what you'd expect. So this is performance-wise, first impression. This is fine. It works fine. It's fine. So 
So yeah. They did a good job on this, guys. I'm impressed. So this is pretty much, I don't exactly in front of me know the name of this particular Kershaw. I'm going to look up the information to put it in the title so you guys are going to know it when you're clicking the video and pulling this up, what this knife is. I just don't off the top of my head know what it was when I ordered this thing and got it in the box. So, but I'll put all that down. This knife is great. If I, hey, if you can all day long, if you can pick up something with this blade, uh, uh, the D2 steel and this shape size, I can already tell you all day long, I'd throw 40 to $60 at this knife all day long. I'm going to actually put it in my pocket. I'll carry it a little bit, try to get some use out of it. I bet uh, my bet is that it would even patina up really nicely on this brass. I bet it'll patina nicely. Pair it up with like a nice brass uh, or copper, whatever it may be. Brass, copper, damn. Flashlight or something. You'd be good to go. Good for EDC for the tasks that I could, that come to my mind. I appreciate you guys watching, taking the time to, uh, to look at the video. I've got a lot of knife content that's going to be coming out in the future. We're going to continue to grow and do this. Um, remember our veterans. God, man, it's so nice. Well, hopefully you may be in another country, I guess, if you're possibly watching this video. But for the most of us, I would think that we reside in the great nation of the United States of America and our freedoms were earned, lives were given, blood was shed. And for all the wonderful men and women that serve this great nation, I say thank you coming from myself and uh thanks for watching the channel remember the little furry guys the pets the loved ones they're not around too long and we need to always remember to take care of them spayed neuter there's a lot of them that don't have homes or they're abused guys you can do it love yourself don't let anybody hold you back i'm trying to push on i'm going to conquer and live my dream i want you to do the same thing because in today's age, with all the digital stuff and all the stuff online and people doing things that we think we can't, it's easy to get discouraged and wonder, why can't I do it? I know I can. Well, you know what? You can. I'm going to tell you that because that's where it starts. Let's think it. Let's do it. Turn it into action. Guys, this is wonderful. Spending the day with you. I've got more content coming up. Again, don't forget about Allegiance if you're interested in getting a new flag or just want to take a peek at what they have to offer. It's really cool. It's worked out well for me. My name's Scott. I'm out.